Hello and welcome to this Motion 5 tutorial where we're going to look at how to create moving light trails in your motion project. To start with I've just got a blank project and what we're going to do we're going to add some simple uh, primitive objects into our into our scene and then we're going to apply um, some shape styles to them to create the illusion of moving light trails. So the simple objects I'm talking about are rectangles and circles to start with. So I'm going to go down to my solid creator down here. I'm going to create a solid rectangle and I'm going to create a solid circle as well. So I've got two simple objects here. What I need to do is select each object and go into its inspector to look at its properties. Turn off the fill option because we're not going to need our object filled in, but turn on the outline option. So exact same rectangle, turn off the fill and turn on the outline. It's very important because the outline of the object is what the light trail is going to animate across this path here. Um, we'll see what I mean now. So the other thing that I could use to create my, my light trail, which we'll look at in more detail in a few minutes, is the Bezier tool. Or we could draw a path out. But first of all, let's apply a simple light trail to, to these two objects here. So select your object, circle for example, and go into the library. In the library, you need to go down to shape styles over here. And in shape styles, um, I'm going to select the all sub menu. We've got lots and lots of different shapes in here. Now, some of them are just still images. So if you click on one of them, for, say for example, acrylic 3 here, up in the top here, you should come up with a preview of what it'll look like. For this to work, the preview should show an animated video. So this one, for example, that would work. But this one here, where it's not doing anything, it's just a still image, we can't use that. So let's find one that's animated that looks good. I know, for example, if I go to the light option, I can choose light streaks too. And see how it plays and it previews up in this little video screen top left. That means that this will work as an, as an animated light trail on here. So all you need to do now is drag that over and onto the object in your layers menu. So I'm going to drop that in the circle object. Now, if I deselect that and click play, we should see that it animates across the outline of the shape. Perfect. There we go. Let me see it's disappearing there. Now at the minute, that's a bit thin. That's because the animation for the, the shape style is being applied directly to the outline of the object. So if I select my circle object, I'm going to move my timeline player along. If I select the circle object and go into the inspector and go into the outline options here, I can change the width of my outline and that will make the width of the light trail bigger as well. I can also change the spacing to make it more um, spread out but I'm going to set it to as it was. There we go. So let's play that again with the new one. There we go and that's, that's fast. So exactly the same. We could do exactly the same now to the square if I go back into my library, go back into shape styles. And this time let's have a look at, um, let's find a different one here. Ink, texture, and I should just pick any really. Ah, oh, let's try flock of beds. Uh, oh, in fact, no, we'll, we'll stick with the lights. There we go. So I'll drag on light tails and drop down to the rectangle. And I'll just pause my preview there, save my computer, and hit play. And we can see it's taxing the computer, it's obviously going quite slow because this is, in essence, a particle effect and it's hard for the computer to process this much data. And click pause. There we go. So a chance to render there. So we can see that it's much thinner again on this side, and that's because, like we discussed, uh, the rectangle would need to go into its properties if we wanted that light trail to be fatter. Go into the inspector and change the width of the outline. And there we go. So I've got two very, very simple light trails there, and they only took two minutes to make because we use some very, very simple primitive objects, these rectangles and circles, the primitive kind of shapes that we've already got within motion. But what if we wanted to create something a little bit more complicated? What if we wanted to draw our own light path out? Well, we could do that using the Bezier tool down here. So I'm going to click down here and select the pen tool, the Bezier. 
And using the pen tool, I can click and draw out on my screen, and this will be the path that the light trails follow. So I can create exactly exactly what I want. And if I'm not happy, I can go back and command and Z a couple of stages. and just get it exactly perfect to how you want it. So I've created a very, very simple shape here using the pen tool. When I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to press enter on my keyboard or return. And if it comes in like this, you'll just remember you need to untick fill. Just like with the, uh, the circle and the rectangle, we need to untick fill and make sure that the outline is ticked. Increase my width there. And then once again, we follow the same process going to shape styles and just drop your shape style onto there and there we go so that one's not animated because as we can see in the preview for that liquid one I just had there it's just it's not actually moving it is animated but it's staying in place so we need something like here we go ink dilate one let's drag that on there and it should follow exactly the same path there we go, that I've just drawn out there. So, nice and easy. So that's how we use the shape styles to animate simple light paths in our project. And we can do some really, really cool stuff with those. Um, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please shout out in the comments below. Thank you.